I attended two meetings of the General Plan Committee last Tuesday and Thursday. At Thursday's meeting, Councilmember Mosca very politely thanked the members for their service and told them that the council has the job of giving direction to the committee. This was in response to two committee members' presentations at public comment at our last council meeting. Councilmember McGillivray then said that the council's job should be to accept and buy off on the plan as developed by the committee. In other words, we should rubber stamp the document. I was asked if I had any comments and I declined because I wanted to wait until I was on camera in the interest of transparency and I wanted to speak to all of the citizens of, uh, of Sierra Madre as well as members of other committees and commissions. We have a number of people sitting out here who have applied for commission positions and I want you to understand that this has absolutely nothing to do with the commissions that you are applying for and we've never had the kinds of issues come up that we've had with this particular committee. At the first general plan meeting I attended soon after my election, a member of the audience ranted at the then Mayor Mosca that the general plan is the plan of the people and not the council. This has been the mantra for a few people, some members of the committee, and Council Member McGillivray. We have heard it repeatedly in various settings, especially at council meetings. The chair of the committee in most of the meetings I have attended has made sarcastic and demeaning remarks about the governing body. She has expressed her disdain for the Brown Act, which is government's way of trying to provide transparency. And linked to that, she has tried to set up secret meetings. Early on, she was asked um, that she asked that only two council members attend their meetings so that they would not be subject to the Brown Act. She didn't want camera coverage, which was suggested as a way to get committee activities out to the public. She said she didn't want um, public cover coverage because she wanted to be able to talk to her attendees, and the camera would discourage that. At a council meeting last month, she displayed all of these attributes. She requested a meeting with no staff or city attorney present. Then two weeks ago, two members of the committee decided it was a good idea to confront the governing body during public comment. They were angry that we gave direction to the committee and that we didn't happen to agree with their requests. It's time for a looky here moment. Um, looky here. Committees and commissions serve at the pleasure of the governing body. And I repeat, committees and commissions serve at the pleasure of the governing body. And in a very, very basic English, for those who don't get it, we brought you in and we can take you out. The governing body has a right and the responsibility to give directions to committees and commissions. We were elected by the majority of the electorate of this city, and whether you like it or not, we have the ultimate authority of review and approval of city documents that are intended to reflect the interests of the majority of the citizenry. Speaking for myself, I will not rubber stamp the work of any committee or commission. I will review, make adjustments if necessary, and approve the general plan. Once again, the general plan committee serves at the pleasure of the governing body. Folks in the audience can continue to come to the microphone and repeat, the plan is the, is the people's plan and not the city council's. As you have many times, and you will continue to be wrong, and after tonight you will just look foolish. I don't make criticisms without recommendations, and this is a tough deal. But if this were agendized, and if I had a, could make a recommendation on this, I would suggest that the two people who came here uh, two weeks ago step down from that committee. I would also request that the chair step down because this has become more and more of a toxic in, uh, issue as this committee has gone on. And I've been here for 18 months and that's pretty much what I've seen. The other person that I think ought to step aside is Council Member McGillivray. I don't think she should be the liaison to that committee. She has. Um, she does not seem to grasp what her boundaries are, and she likes to she be, likes to think of herself as a member of the committee. Yet last week, not once but twice, she suggested that she would come up here to the dais when two people were late for the committee meeting. 
I don't think she understands the boundaries of a governing body liaison member, uh, liaison member to, a, to a committee or a commission. And lastly, she has been the instigator and the perpetuator of this mantra that this is the people's document and not the city, and not the city council's. She has been wrong from the beginning. She continues to be wrong. So um, that's the end of my, um, my brief report. I understand, but I will have to remind council members that these are reports about things that have taken place and everything else. And so I realize that, you know, there's a limited authority to tell you what you say, what you can say and not say. But council member McGillivray, uh, you're next, and if you care to elaborate. Well, actually, it's not appropriate to elaborate in, at this point in the meeting because these are supposed to be brief reports of meetings that we attended 